Hey guys, Tech It Before You Wreck It, what's up? This is Kirk, and today we're doing a quick take. So I had somebody ask specifically about a feature I talked about with the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag, and that is the button here. When you press the button, how do you get it to send a text message? So I wanted to do a quick demo to show exactly how you set that up. And take a look, so here is your phone. You've gotta have your Smart Tag, of course, connected to your Samsung phone first and foremost. And then you go into the SmartThings app. And what you'll notice is when you come to the main menu of the SmartThings app, you'll see your tags. And this is the Smart Tag 2, it's called On The Go. Uh, well, at least that's what the menu option is called. On The Go, Smart Tag 2, Nearby. I'm gonna tap into that. And first what it'll do is it'll start connecting. So you'll notice it's trying to connect to the actual device. And there you go, it's now connected. So now we wanna look for the option. It's right down three from the main, uh, status uh, option there, status, uh, find phone or tablet, and then automation. That's what we wanna do. So then we've got two options, pressed or held are the two options here. So you just tap into one. Don't worry about turning it on or off right now. Just tap into it. So when I, when I press the button, what is this going to do? Now let's create, they call it a routine. You can see it says create routine. So add what this routine will do. Uh, we will go notify someone and then here's our options. We can send a notification to members in the Samsung app. Uh, we can play a message on the speaker or in the middle, you've got to send text message. That's what we wanna do. So we're gonna send text message. Let's talk about what the message is. Help, this is an emergency. And then enter the number. So just put a number in there of somebody you wanna send that text to. In my case, I'm gonna put my own number and Hit done. You can actually add up to 10 people. So you can have it send a text to 10 people simultaneously. So let's hit done. Now it's gonna give you a little warning about saving the recipients by selecting this save. You represent and warrant that one, you are the owner of the phone number, basically saying like, listen, we're gonna send text messages to this person. You've gotta be responsible for this. I hit okay. That's it. That is literally it. So I hit save and that has saved my routine. I can pick an icon for this. Doesn't really matter. I can give it a name for this specific action or automation. And now it's just saving it. You can see the little rolling icon there. And now it's saved because the tag has beeped. Keep in mind, and it says it right here at the top, you can start automations when you press the button if the tag is connected to your phone. This isn't going to work if your phone isn't nearby because the tag itself does not have Wi-Fi, it does not have a SIM card, it has no way of connecting to the internet. But let me show you exactly how this works. I'll bring in my phone right here. And actually, let me bring it up here, just so you can get a better look at it. And I'll hit the button, watch. Give it a second, it takes about, uh, I would say 10 to 20 seconds. Well, actually, that was pretty fast. Help, this is an emergency. So there you go, it just sent a text message. And what it's doing, just for context, it's connecting via low energy Bluetooth from the smart tag to this phone, which is then using Samsung servers to send a text message to this phone, since this is the one I designated in that automation. I hope that helps. If you're trying to set up text messaging from the Samsung Galaxy smart tag, hopefully that little demo makes it easy for you.